Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be one of the first story times that I will upload on my channel. So right now, pause the video, go get a snack, and get ready to cheese me out. Mine is popcorn with hot Cheetos. And then also, my dad made me a cherry limeade, so you know, I'm snacking pretty good right now. I have a whole little feast going on. But let's get into it, and this is gonna be the story time about how I partied with Drake. Not clickbait. <laughs> You guys, I don't even know like where to start with this because every time like I tell someone this they're like you're joking but it's like honestly I don't even believe that it happened and like me and my friends that got to go to the party were like I'm still in disbelief okay so this all started he was on his scorpion tour and of course he had like a few nights in Houston right and Migos was on tour with him so like this whole thing and one girl on my team, shout out to Sydney, she really is like the main one in this story, like props to her. She got us all in and she decided that one night she was going to go out, I think like right when they got into Houston. And so her and Corin decided to go out to a club where Migos was going to be. From what they told me, so like a bunch of girls were there, bro. Like it was so packed, you know, everyone's trying to get in and like one of, okay one of drake's like team or like his entourage or someone there he was there and so apparently like he saw them and was like you two come in so drake wasn't there like it was more like his crew and then migos was like in the vip section and then eventually like she exchanged numbers with the guy that got her in so like the entourage guy so they exchanged numbers and like she's hanging out with him and basically i remember the next day like in the gym, I saw her and I was like, bro, like what even, like what happened? Like just talking to her. She was like, why? Like telling me what I just told y'all, just kind of everything that happened, show me the videos. And I was like, bro, that's so cool. Like you go girl, like you live in life, like go ahead. And so then <laughs> eventually like, she's just like telling me like, yeah, I might go here, I might go there. I'm like, cool. Like, and so she was texting me and me being, you know, me. I have the screenshots because I think I posted it on my Finsta. Let me open the hot fries. And we share locations, so she was like, look at my location. Girl, when I tell you, I was right across the street. And I was like, you know, I should, but I shouldn't. So I was like, let me not, let me not, let me wait. Like, I'm just going to chill. Like, I'm not feeling it right now. It was a little sus, a little sus, but she was okay. And she was like, I'm fine. Like, no need to come, but... No, I'll keep informed like it's gonna happen like we're gonna hang out whatever so anyway she can invite um, people to the concert so she texted me and she was like hey like let's go like do you want to go like I just have a question like could you drive for me and I was like girl yes I'll drive to and back like that does not matter don't worry about nothing we're getting in for free and it's floor access I was like okay like shoot I'm just happy with that like all right so like I'm getting all ready I'm like oh shoot like Time to pull out like my little black dress and then you know I did my little makeup and I was like bro it's time to live this life like we're trying to live like a movie right now I just remember walking we're like meeting the guy at an entrance but it was basically the backstage pass and I think I'll put it on the thumbnail or something but so this is what we had just to get in it was the scorpion tour like a backstage pass so we go to the gate and the security lady is like uh you can't get in and we're like what the like this is all we have like <laughs> she ends up calling him she's like hey like they won't let us in the gate and so he comes up with another guy i guess in the little entourage and so they mean this and he's talking to the lady like you know and he's like yeah like man what's the problem like like little man like don't you see this like family backstage pass and i was like uh, okay and then sydney's like like look like you're upset this part kills me because I know what she means. Like, you know, like those, like the bougie girls that's all like, <sighs> like, why am I even waiting? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> and so she's like, play into it, play into it. And so, you know, I'm over here like, <laughs> and she was into it too much. I was like, I couldn't look at her or else I would laugh. So like, you know, we were just like waiting, like seeing what was gonna happen. And so he's like, fine, if they need a ticket, like, we'll buy a ticket. So, like, on the spot, I think he goes up to the ticket booth 
and he like buys two tickets and like I mean they're expensive but they bought it like nothing so just for the entry he's like here here's your ticket to scan so then we go in and we walk through all the levels down all the way to the floor level and bro I was just like this is really happening like I'm about to see Drake for free I'm about to just have the best time like he played all his songs I'll insert like some videos here <laughs> thriving at this concert it was honestly so fun and like just to top it off like that wasn't it like that wasn't even the cherry on the top I'm drink my cherry lemonade so i'm texting jules and i'm like girl get ready and one like her main crush is drake like you get it like how i am with bruno that's how she is with Drake. So Sydney texts Corin, and then I'm texting Jules like, get ready, get dressed, cause we're going to Drake's after party. This is what's so funny about the whole thing. I have workouts the next morning, 5.30 workouts, but I'm like, girl, I'm getting invited to Drake's after party, private after party, and you think I'm gonna even hesitate? Like, nah, like, and I know people party the night before and go to workouts, so like, what makes you think I'm gonna miss Drake's? My coach going to be there? Nope. I'll throw up this one. Like, I'll take one bad workout and I'll feel better after. What I won't feel better is going to workouts knowing that I could have went to Drake's party. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's where my head was at. So, and of course, they were too like, shoot, we're going. Like, I don't care. Like, I'll be tired in the morning. I don't care. So, it was so funny because Jules comes out. And I was like, Jules. <laughs> Jules, if you're watching this, this is so funny because you know I always do this with you. And so then this was... Drake's party, okay? And she was coming out here like, we're going to a baseball party. <laughs> I was like, Jules, this ain't no like tank top, jean shorts, converse scene. Like, let me give you a little skirt. Let me give you a little tube top. We got some hoops. <laughs> you gotta be looking like, like that on point. Not like, we're going to the baseball party to uh, play beer pong. You know what I mean? Like. It's the different vibes. So she's laughing. She's like, Emma, shut up. But she know I'm right. So she goes back, she changes, and then she's like feeling so I'm like, yes, girl, like I told you. Like now she's like, all right, all right, all right. Corn meets us, we go downtown. And at first I had my suspicions because I was like, where are we? Like we were downtown, but I think it was I don't know what area, but it wasn't like where all the main bars were. It was like we turned onto the street and like nobody was really there like like you know how it's usually like bar and then a restaurant and then like another bar like it was like pretty empty not a lot of like busyness on the street i just remember there was like a i don't know if it was a bar or a cafe like it had a cafe vibe and that was what was next door and there was like older people there sitting on the patio smoking like drinking a beer like real chill vibes real chill vibes so i was like uh and then they see us walking up like on the sidewalk and so i'm like uh is this the place and then as we're walking like up to like the building over uh the guy that was our connection or whatever he came up to us and was like all right all right like 
Boom, like, you're just gonna have to act real chill and just before y'all know, like, no phones, obviously. I'm not gonna be the girl that's like, like, I'm at Drake's party, you guys, like, look on Snapchat, I'm with all these, like, celebrities, like, of course you're gonna get thrown out. This is the funniest part of the whole story. Because we're in our head, like, are we sure? Are we sure? And, like, parked in the street, there's, like, a black suburban, like, obviously, like, with celebrities traveling, and it's, like, right there. And around it, there's like four other black nice cars around it, I guess security. And so we didn't think of anything of it. Like we're walking towards the entrance. So the car is right in front of us. And then like right as we're walking about to like get to like where the car is, the door pops open. I'm gonna make this dramatic for effect. The door pops open and it slowly opens. And we're walking, we see the door opening and then we see this guy like get out. <laughs> And then it was Drake. Like, as soon as we were walking in, he was entering. And so, me, I'm like, like, honestly, that's my reaction. Like, I'm like, like, I was like, that's Drake in my head. Like, and then, no, like, I'm not, of course, I'd be like, this is, if it was Bruno, honest, or Beyonce, like, I'd be the same way. But Jules, <laughs> Jules, Corns, they're like, ah! <laughs> like, they're like freaking out. And so, of course, naturally, it's like a quiet street. Like, as I was saying, chill vibes. He pops on the door, and then they react like that. And he's like, he looks right at us, at <laughs> our group. And then he's like, and goes in through the back. And I was like, guys, I'm dead. Like, but at least they knew, like, all right, like, we're at the party. Like, we're at the right place. And so, then our connection, he was like, get in, get in, get in. Like, you know, he's just like, get in, come on. And we're like, all right, like, sorry. So we get inside the party and bro, it was like a hookah lounge. I guess he rented out like this whole hookah lounge, but it was open bar. And then we got invited into this section. And, you know, we were just having a good time watching each other, of course. We had workouts the next morning. So we were like, oh, when do we leave? Like, let's just have a good time. Not get too crazy, but like have a little fun. But like, I mean, this we gotta live life. Like we only live once. Like we, what are we doing? We're not just gonna leave in 30 minutes. You know, we gonna, we gonna enjoy ourselves a little bit. Let me tell you, we was dancing, we was drinking, and then, I don't know who it was. I think it was one of the Texans football players, or was it the Rockets player? I don't know, someone on a Houston team that Julia had a crush on when she was like little, and he was there, like sitting on the wall, like just chill vibes, like just, you know, like party watching, you know, people watching, and she was like, Dude, like, should I go up to him? And I was like, I mean, might as well. Like, nobody messing with him. You know, everyone's obviously looking at Drake, like, trying to get with Drake. We got to the dance floor and we're dancing. This part was, like, so crazy. He needs to go to the bathroom. And girls, I know you know what I'm talking about when, like, the guys do, like, the excuse me move. Like, the, they're trying to get to the bathroom. You know, do sabes. Like, they're trying to get past you so they put your hands on your waist. You know, like, excuse me. I don't even care if y'all believe me or not, but Drake did that with us. It was so close, right? And so he was trying to get th through to the bathroom. And me and Jules, we were like, excuse me. <laughs> I just went like, rub back. Like, I was like, you're excused. Like, you know, like, sorry. Like, oh, all right. But you know, we had to. That was like our little interaction there. And so me and Jules were like, oh, excuse me, you're excused. And then for the rest of the party, we're just having a good time. Like, we're just like, we're here, you know? And then basically at the end of the night, we were like, all right, guys, like, <laughs> we got to go home. Oh. Who wanted my popcorn? It's like four, four, no. Yeah, it was close to four. I'm like, was it? In? Yeah. But like, guys, we need to go home. Like, we have 530 workouts. This is going to be rough. So we leave. We're going home. We saw Jack. We saw Jack. He grabbed both of y'all! He grabbed both of y'all! Everyone stayed the night at my apartment. We were like, all right, we'll just wake up and go together. Like, no, don't worry about everything. We 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 in this together, and we're going to get through this workout together. I just remember we missed a couple of alarms, but thankfully, like, I had some backup ones. Because, you know, you usually have that time. You have, like, the alarm to wake up, and then the alarm where it's like, all right, you better leave. We already missed the mark where it's like, we should have been gone. So I was like, guys, we need to book it. 
we're like half asleep we get in the car Corin props to you Corin because you drove like your life depended on it vroom, 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 vroom. she making turns she's switching lanes she she might have ran some lights I don't know but hey we had to do what we had to do so our typical workouts like weights and running but she said meet at the track so I was like all my athletes like meet at the track like whew, rough but we go out there and she's running late so i'm like all right bet. like she didn't see us like barely run up there like pushing it so we're doing stretches and our team is like <laughs> sniffing like some dogs they're like what's that smell like i smell like alcohol investigating investigating right and bro i don't know what like how to this day this happened we had <laughs> one of the easiest workouts that we ever do but it's not like we're doing gassers and recoveries and weights and sprints and making the time like punishment running you know or like stadium i can do this like all we were doing was sprints and we're done like that's it run to the 10 run to the 20 look this way run to the 10 through me walk like you know it's one of the easiest we have and i just remember after that workout <laughs> all of us were like bro we lucked out i don't know how this happened but this is a great story. Like, it was honestly so funny. And then we went home, crashed out. And the rest was history. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Like, it was like, again, it was a long time ago. And I'm just barely sharing this story time. But, I mean, it was so fun. And to this day, I still can't even believe this happened. But, it was an awesome concert. And then an awesome party. And I shared it with my friends. And amazing memory to tell them, especially how we looked out with those workouts after. Even though I barely got through my little snacks, I'm going to eat this right now. And I guarantee you, I will finish all of this because this is my favorite snack. I'm gonna go watch a movie with my mom and probably demolish this. So again, thank you for watching. This was like a spontaneous video. I didn't write anything else. You know, I usually have my notes written out like talking points, but I'm just going with the flow. If y'all stay to the end, Leave a scorpion emoji so I know who the real ones are. And yeah, I will see y'all in my next video. And hit subscribe, give it a like, comment down below what y'all liked about this. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Cheers.